continuing in Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And the second wild animal makes all people. It causes to produce or brings about for everyone, the little people and the great people, you know, from small to large, from junior to senior. doesn't matter what rank or position of status you have on earth at this future time. And the wealthy people and the poor people and the free men, those at liberty from service to other people, and the slaves, the bond servants, those who serve other people in the work or service category for the purpose and result that they would give themselves, give to themselves a character mark, something that has been marked, impressed, a resulting mark made by a marker or a product of an, of an act. So a character mark, where? On their hand emphatically and specifically on their right hand, visible to everyone looking at the right hand, which remains uncovered. So at this time, with their right hand, they would re receive a mark on their hand, and it would need to remain uncovered. People could not cover it with their clothes. It would have to remain uncovered. Or they could receive this character mark, on their forehead, that area above or between the eyes visible to everyone looking at a person's face. Of course, this is in absolute contrast and contrary to the seal that the only true God placed on the foreheads of his people. We looked at that in Revelation chapter 7, verse 3, and in chapter 9, verse 4. So continuing regarding the second wild animal and what he does and causes people to put that character mark on their right hands or on their forehead. And for the purpose and result that somebody would not be able, they would not have the capability to buy or to purchase, you know, to pay the price as a person buys in a marketplace. Or to sell they would not be able to sell, as in a business, a trade, except or unless the person has that character mark, which would either be the name of the first wild animal or the number of its name, the total count or the quantity which constitutes its name. John writes, here is the wisdom the application, in this context, of course, is talking about the application of knowledge regarding this situation. So here is wisdom in application in connection with the number of its name. The person having a mind, that one who is willing to use his mindset, the person who has a mind must count, figure, as with stones or pebbles, to get the person's opinion. You know, figure it out. You must count the number of the wild animal, for it is the number of a man, of a human being, mankind. And its number is 666. That's 666 in figures, which in Greek, of course, that corresponds to 660. Six and in letters, it's C H, you know, K, and then the X and the S. Now the number associated with man or mankind is the number six. However, the wild animal is not a man. It is not a human being, but it claims to be the man who used to be alive, the same man who was killed and died, and then the same man who was resurrected. Remember we read about that, where the devil gives life to the man who died, that one that was in power for the first three and a half years. He was killed. And then the devil put the wild animal in his place. Also, the number of three, you know, three times six, the number of three is associated with completion. So this will mark uh, be the mark of the Antichrist of or from Satan, the devil, the dragon, the snake. 
the one portraying itself as though it were a complete man, the resurrected man who was saving the rest of mankind instead of the only true God's Christ, the promised Lord Jesus Christ. It attempts to take the place of Christ in relation to mankind. Now, of course, we know that the source of the wild animal's power will be the dragon, as stated in the previous verses. And the dragon attempts to take the place of the only true God. This will be the final display of the three-in-one trinity abomination with its compelling one-world political government, religion, and economy. It is interesting to note also that Greek word for character mark, karagma, uh, was used in the papyri or papyruses, papyri, of a mark associated with an emperor. It contained his name or representation and the year of his reign. It was used for buying and selling. And also it was used to validate documents as a seal. And the same word was used, the same Greek word that is, is used in the writing of Revelation of Jesus Christ to John of a branding mark that some people will receive and is used also in Acts chapter 17 verse 21 by the Apostle Paul where he explains that the idolatrous things made from gold or silver or stone are a mark of the craft and thinking of mankind as opposed to the only true God, his essence. <laughs>